Hello everyone and welcome to the Bomberman demo. This is a game developed in QT by Ishmael Delgado, Chow Ming Lee or Leon, and myself, Robin Rogowski. I will be walking you through a demo of the game. I'll start here with the power-up selection screen. We have four different types of power-ups. We have full explosion, which makes the power-ups go the full length of the board. We have fire-up, which increases the Bomberman's explosion length by one. We have teleport, which allows the Bomberman to move an entire square rather than just part of the board. He just moves one-fifth of the square without this power-up. The bomb-up allows the Bomberman to lay multiple bombs with a limit of three. And down here is how full do you want the board with breakable blocks. You can have it very little, which is least, you can have it halfway full, or you can have it completely full. For the demo, I will do half. Hit back. Network play. We don't have working. We can go into play game. I'll play as player two, which uses the arrow keys to move and the period to lay bombs. The power-ups appear after the block is destroyed as shown. The object of the game is to kill the other bomber man. Now player one moves with W, A, S, and D, and he uses space bar to lay his bombs. Now player two will get the full explosion, and the explosions will now go the entire length of the board. This power-up would normally increase my explosion length by one, but since it's already the full board, that power-up doesn't do anything. As you can see, I just killed myself. Player one got a point. Now, I'll move here this power-up. Player two will now be able to lay two bombs at once, as shown. And there is the teleport power-up, where I watch my movement. I now move multiple squares at once. You can also lay more than one bomb. You can get more than one power-up, and they last for the entirety of a round, but once the round is over, the power-ups are cleared, and you have to start over. So here we go. I also, now that I've demonstrated all the power-ups, these power-ups now don't do anything because I already have them. And we can just sit and wait a minute here, because at 59 seconds, we go into sudden death mode, and the board actually starts to fill up with unbreakable blocks, and these can kill a player, as I'll show here. Player 2 will die, player 1 gets a point, he's at 2, he's 1 away from winning. We can lay a bomb here. Player 1 now wins the round and he wins the game because he is now at three. Once you win, you can go back to the main menu, play again with the same settings. If you want to change the settings, you have to go back to the main menu and go into power-up selection. And that's the demo. Thank you for watching.